installing the retainer flanges PO169. Um, these are the implements that we're going to be using to be able to install them accurately and efficiently. First we have a vernier by which we can essentially look at our spec sheet which is fundamental to make sure that we're well within those tolerances of installation. We've got our drill, um, we've got our drill bits, we've got our countersink um, drills, safety glasses and a hammer. All of these need to be followed through as per spec sheet to be able to make sure that installation is correct. So first I'm going to make use a sharpie to mark the point on which I'm going to then go ahead and grab my hammer and mark it. I've therefore made an indentation to make sure to use my vert to use the vernier to find out what thickness plate I have. Therefore go ahead and start to measure my vernier. 1.5 1.5 on the vernier, so I therefore know that I need to use the specific uh, retainer flange to be able to. I'll then go ahead and look to use a pilot drill before using the tolerance drill. So I'll begin to make sure to set your drill appropriately for the job and its application. With the pilot drill you want to try and keep it in center line to make sure that once the drill is clear make sure that the job was consistent make sure to use your safety glasses install the tolerance drill and make sure to double check that the drill tolerance which is D5H9 as highlighted is anywhere from 8mm to 8.36 0 0.36 okay now I'll move over to start to drill that because that's where measure that. Yeah, intolerance. So now we'll go ahead, once we've measured to make sure that the hole is well with intolerance, we'll look to then count for it. What you really want to do is set this to a slow speed so you have more control. Slow speed. So what we really want to do Point nine five. So I need nine point six. So I'll just keep doing that until I try to get. That's the reason why you want to slow it down. Yeah. To make sure if you're going too fast, you'll go over that tolerance. So you want to go nice and slow. want to do about anywhere from and just keep checking for that pretty much there okay check that should be done so 9.6 so it's done there what you then want to do is because of the retainer flange you want to swap it over and very lightly replace that with the original drill bit maintaining it still on the slowest speed possible make sure to clear the back surface you want to try and make that as flush as possible remember to maintain the slowest speed all you're doing is you just
possible. Let's use Go ahead and take the flange. And then comfortably place it into the as you can see it is nice and flush against the part you're making. So I think that's a little bit. Yeah. Gotta hold some. All there. Okay. So you want to try it twice to make sure that there's consistent splay. Okay. Make sure to maintain the ball bearing that it doesn't fly anywhere else. So once we've installed it, we'll then go ahead to see the cap place the captor screw into the flange. We'll go ahead and use our Allen key. And now we can see our captive screw and retainer flange are installed.